Today on the screen line, I'm gonna show you guys how to make these gorgeous burnt butter caramel chocolate chip cookie bars. The caramel layer is so easy to make and oh so gooey. And that burnt butter actually gives these a really beautiful nutty flavor. I'm gonna show you just how easy they are to make right now. I'm gonna begin by spraying a nine by nine inch cake tin. So this is a square cake tin. So we're gonna spray it lightly with some oil spray and we're gonna line the sides with some baking paper. So this is one that I pre-cut. Now I actually have a video on my channel teaching you guys how to actually spray um, different types of cake tins. So like sphere ones and round ones and square ones. I'm actually gonna spray the bottom of this with some more spray just to help the other layer stick to the bottom of the tin. You also wanna preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. That is 175 degrees Celsius. Now, if you guys follow me over to my stove, I actually made some burnt butter. The way I did that was by adding my butter into my saucepan and cook on medium heat for a couple minutes, occasionally stirring until the butter turns a golden color. You'll notice that little flecks of butter will stick to the bottom of the saucepan. That's completely normal. Once it has reached that stage, you wanna set it aside and let it cool down to room temperature. Preparing the caramel center for these cookies is really, really easy. We're not actually even gonna be making our own caramel because we're gonna be using caramel chews. So these are just regular caramel chew candies. And obviously you wanna unwrap them from their wrappers, pour them into your mixing bowl. And to that, you're going to add some heavy cream. We're gonna pop this bowl in the microwave for one minute at a time, stirring each time until this mixture is nice and silky smooth. So you can see that all of those caramel chews have melted together with the cream and everything is silky smooth and delicious. I know it's tempting to taste this right now because it smells amazing in my kitchen, but this thing is piping hot, so we need to let it cool down to room temperature and we're gonna move on to the cookie ingredients. I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. If you are, hit the like button and make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you stay up to date with all of my latest videos. Back to the video. So our butter has cooled down to room temperature. It's still nice and liquidy. We're gonna pour that into a large mixing bowl. Can you see those large big flecks of burnt butter? This is what's gonna give our cookies a really beautiful nutty flavor. To that, we're gonna add our brown sugar, two eggs, and a good splash of vanilla extract. Use a whisk to help combine everything until it's nice and smooth. I mean, those little burnt flecks of butter, they're just, it looks like we've added like big vanilla beans in here. We're gonna set these aside and move on to the dry ingredients. Now I'm gonna sift these ingredients because I just wanna make sure that everything gets mixed really well when it comes to the dry ingredients because we're actually gonna be adding some bicarb soda in here and I wanna make sure that that gets distributed evenly in the dry ingredients before we add it to the wet so that it's not hidden in one spot of the batter and everything is gonna bake perfectly. We're also gonna be adding some salt. I get a lot of questions about the salt that I use. I use the pink sea salt just so that you guys can see it better on screen and it's not another white ingredient that I'm adding to my bowl. Flavor wise, it makes no difference what type of salt you use, pink, white, whatever it is but that's why I use the pink salt. So we're gonna sift these ingredients together. If you see any large ingredients at the bottom, you can just push those through, and if they're a little bit on the hard side, just discard them. I'm gonna use my whisk just to help everything combine. Set that aside, and we're gonna grab our wet ingredients, and we're gonna add half of the dry ingredients to our wet ingredients. I'm gonna grab a spatula and I'm just going to fold these through until we can see no dry ingredients showing and everything is really well combined. So once those are mixed in, we're gonna add the rest of our dry ingredients. And because these are chocolate chip cookie bars, we're gonna add a good amount of chocolate chips in here. 
These are semi-sweet or dark chocolate chips, but you can pretty much use any type you like. Milk or white, it doesn't really matter, it's up to you. So we're gonna fold all of these ingredients through until a nice dough forms. That's it guys, that's how easy making this cookie dough is. So I'm gonna set that aside because we are going to be actually layering the cookie dough and caramel and then more cookie dough on top just to get that caramel layer in the center. And the way we're gonna do that is by actually splitting half of our cookie dough mixture and we're gonna add it into our pre-prepared cake tin. So clean hands, I'm gonna use my hands to spread this out and get it nice and flat and even on the bottom of our cake tin, making sure that you get right to the corners and the sides. Once you have that nice and even, we're gonna be pouring our room temperature caramel on top of that. We wanna spread that out nice and evenly. Again, making sure we're getting to the corners and the sides. At this point, we are gonna pop this in the freezer for about 20 to 30 minutes because we want everything to harden up before we add the other half of our dough mixture. Because adding the dough mixture on top right now, you're gonna be pushing into that really soft caramel and it's gonna become messy. So this is gonna go in the freezer. I'm gonna come back and show you what to do to finish this off. Now, can you see how this caramel has completely hardened up? We're ready to pop on the other half of our cookie dough now. We're gonna use our clean hands to spread this around. The last thing we're gonna do before we pop this in the oven is actually sprinkle on some extra chocolate chips. And I have some sea salt flakes. I'm gonna pop these on top. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna counteract the sweetness from the caramel and almost turn it into like a salted caramel experience. Um, you don't have to add the salt if you don't want, but I'd really recommend you do because it adds another depth of flavor to these cookies and just makes them that much more irresistible. Right, so these are ready to go in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. Once they've finished baking and you'll see it's gone nice and golden brown, you're gonna let these cool completely at room temperature before you even attempt lifting them out of the cake tin and slicing them up. Because if you try doing it while it's warm, you're gonna end up with a gooey mess. <laughs> so this has baked and completely cooled down. You wanna lift it out using the paper overhang. This is why having paper overhang is important. I'm gonna slice this up and give it a taste. Mm. That is so delicious. It's like a soft, chewy cookie. You've got that nice sweet caramel center, and then the salt on top is like crispy and you can really taste it. It just really counteracts the sweetness from the caramel and it just makes these so tasty. I would love for you guys to try this recipe. It is an absolute winner. It is so easy to make. Kids are gonna love this. Adults are gonna love this. Everyone will love it. I've left the recipe in the description box below for you guys. As always, if you have any recipe suggestions you'd love to see me make on the Scran line, please leave a comment down below and I'll join you guys in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I have more videos over there if you'd like to see more dessert videos. There's also a subscription button on top of the video Click on that so that you don't miss out on all of my new dessert recipe videos. And that recipe video that is right there, guys, click on that and watch another video. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this and I'll see you all on the next episode.